And if you look to the right, you'll see Snooky over here using an air fryer. Snooky, how we doing? How's the poof? It's doing great. Let me see the poof. Let's see it. Oh my God, I never thought I'd see it in person. Oh, oh my, my God. Goodness. What you making for breakfast, huh? I'm making some potatoes. You know, I had them diced up. Some spicy jalapeno chicken and sausage. You like sausage? Yeah. How much? A lot. Oof. Especially the spicy kind. Okay, all right, all right. You don't need to be wiggling it like that on camera. You don't need to be wiggling like that on camera. This is where it ends right here. <laughs> Guys, he does this every morning. Oh my God, here it comes. Oh my God. What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a what? For a chance to win a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So, we've been hiding a couple of things from you. Well, I've been hiding a couple of things. Yeah. One of them is because of you, though. A what? Think about it. Okay, I Think guess. The other one is completely on me. So this is half and half, alright? So I don't want to get nothing in the comment section talking about it's only me. This is half and half right here. So today we have a couple things we're going to be doing today. We're going to vlog it out a little bit. We got to go to shop, right? Yay. No, we don't. Oh, no, that's right. It's for tomorrow. Oh, guys, today... We need to get it together. I thought we were supposed to go to shop right today, but our pickup order is for tomorrow. So that just made me a lot more happier. Yeah, so we're actually going to go to the mall today. It's just Isaiah bad. has to shop. It's Isaiah this time because he always says, I, don't I have hate to the shop. mall. Oh, yes, you do. Guys, I'm literally going there. I'm picking up like four white t shirts and like four black t shirts because you know shop. that's all I wear. That's all I wear is just plain clothes, black and white. He has to shop. I'm going in there and I'm in and out. But I know you're going to see something in the store and you're going to go crazy. Just watch. Just watch. No, I'm not. Name a, I've never heard of a girl that's going to go into the mall and just simply walk out without buying nothing. I always do that. If I can't find anything that I don't like, I walk in and I walk right out. Such a liar. I'm not. Okay. But if I find something I like, obviously I'm going to try it on. I can't take you serious. I just keep looking at the rolls. All right, well, listen, I'm trying that thing, you know, for your layers to have more volume and stuff. So I'm trying to see if it'll work for me. I'll try it later, too. Oh, it's leaning. My rolos. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to go show you one of the things that I've been hiding from you. And then we're going to save the other thing for, like, the end of the video. Don't fast forward. Watch the whole vlog, all right? I know. Don't, don't be fast forwarding. I know if you fast forward. <laughs> I'm going to show you the thing right now that I've been hiding from you guys. This is one of the things I've been hiding from you. This is my current baby, all right? And we didn't make a video on it for a specific reason, but I'll get into that in a moment. I just want you guys to see it real quick. So this is a BMW M340. You guys already know how I am when it comes to my BMWs and my cars. So we got the cinnamon interior. It looks more like an orange on camera. I don't know why, but it's like a really nice cinnamon peanut butter color, but very nice touchscreen display over there. Very quick, sounds really good stock, I love it. This is what the back looks like. Pretty much basic, simple. And then this is what the rear looks like. Shout out to my guy Flawless, always hooking me up, always getting me the best deal possible. If you guys need a car, lease or finance, please hit up Flawless. His phone number is right there. Guys, hit him up if you need anything. But yeah guys, this has been my baby for the past couple days. That's one of the things I've been hiding from you guys is that car. A lot of you guys have been hitting me up, especially on Instagram, talking about, oh, did you get a new BMW? Did you get a new car? You guys didn't make a video on it. And that is because that is only a temporary car. My guy over at Flawless, he was able to hook something up where I'm able to drive that temporary car for a couple of months before the car that, my dream car is what I'm getting in a couple of months. It's currently being built and it has to get shipped over here and all that. So that's what all this is really about. When the new car comes in, my dream car, then we will make a video on it. But as for now, that is the temporary baby. I'm in love with it, babe. Should we keep it? What? The current car, like the temporary car. I like it a lot, actually. It I looks like a spaceship inside at night. I consider taking it, but if it weren't so aggressive, I would have, but it's just super aggressive. Guys, it's aggressive. I love it so much. I love BMW. You guys already know how I am with my cars. Yeah, so that was one of the things we've been hiding from you guys, well, me specifically, and there's the backstory on it. So when the dream car comes in, we'll be sure to make a video on it. As for now, back to the vlog. I made it to the mall. Babe, we need a game plan. Which is what? <laughs> you know how much we both hate the mall, okay? Yeah. And the mall, for some reason, is always packed. Doesn't matter the day of the week. Some people just don't work, and that's on them. That's whatever. But we need a game plan. Okay. We got to be in and out. All right, so I'm I going don't know in. About in and out, but like, Here we go. try to be as quick as possible. Didn't you say you wasn't going to get none? I didn't say that. But I know you're going to see something in the store, and you're going to go crazy. Just watch. Just watch. No, I'm not. Did she? Gosh, in the beginning, you. Oh, my God. What is the point of going to the mall if you're not going to buy anything? I am so tired of him complaining. He doesn't want me to get anything. So why I go to here. the mall? I am here for t-shirts and I just want to get in and out. Okay, that's on you. What are you going to get? Because you I... said you wasn't going to get nothing. 
No, I didn't. I said I'm gonna if I find no, I said if I find something that I like, then of course I'm gonna try it on. I said that. But if I find something I like, obviously I'm gonna try it on. We going I'm gonna rewind. Yeah, back. go I'm ahead and rewind it. that clip and don't be editing no parts out either. I ain't gonna edit no part that. out. I ain't gonna. Uh, all right, so we gonna be anyway, in and out. I'm going to take my time and get whatever I like. Guys, I feel like we're gonna be here for like two hours. But anyway, we are gonna see. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Bro, I'm not playing. I'm Might as well take the whole thing. All of it. All of it. Look at this. Ridiculous. How? What the? Bro, these are the best shirts ever. Oh my goodness. Guys, if you want to know gifts to get Isaiah, get him all these shirts from Uniqlo. Yo, you can't go wrong. These are like the best shirts ever. And they're only $9 each. Yeah, that's not bad. They're the best. The quality is good. They're soft. And they're just the best. Do you want to tell them how I went into Zara and I got nothing? Yeah, I was so happy. About and look that. at you. No, we're gonna, we gonna talk see, about that. You see how he talks all that mess? You see? No, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. <laughs> now we're in Abercrombie, right? Yeah, we're in Abercrombie. Tell them what happened at Zara, yo. Guys, I went inside Zara and everything was a horrendous mess. There was stuff beat out everywhere. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna walk in and walk right out. I hate when they can't like keep everything clean and neat. I just won't shop, so that's It just much sucks how because it it's went. like a really nice and like elegant store, but it it's is. always a mess in there. At least the one that we go to is always a mess. I know, and then on top of that, like it's expensive stuff. Like Zara's not cheap product. I don't want to be wearing stuff that was stepped on and stuff like that, so I definitely didn't want to go in there. Well, hopefully, you got better luck up in here. <sighs> yeah, hopefully, we'll see. Well, it looks like we're off to a good start in this store, huh? Well, I have to try them on first, honestly, because it always looks good on the outside, but then when you try them on, it's like, yikes. I think I want to get two jeans for myself, too. I'm in need of some jeans. Well, we're already here, so you can get oh, Yeah, I see that. I see that. You got some trying on to do. How many jeans I you got do. there? I think I have, like, six. Six jeans? No, you don't. One, I two, three. You got five. three. Three or four. Five? Oh, my God. Can I just say how you look really beautiful today? Well, thank you. I made an effort. I made an effort. Ooh. Looks, looks classy. You're scrum to the umptious. Giving very, uh, New York, um, New York? bougie vibes. You look classy. Yeah, I was about to say, you do look bougie. <laughs> So fast forward about two hours. I'm going to take my time and get whatever I like. Guys, I feel like we're going to be here for like two hours. We couldn't record much in there. One, because the music, we don't want copyright issues. And two, we had a bunch of bags in our hands. So we really didn't have an extra hand for like the camera. Yeah. <laughs> but we finished. How long were we in there for? About two hours, right? I don't know, because we got here at like 1.30, so it's like 3.30 yeah, like, now, so about yeah. two hours, yeah. Um, We ended up in Foot Locker. Don't know how we ended up in there. You ended up trying to get some Converse's. They didn't have your size. I recommend going on StockX. It's just hard because I have small feet, and every time I go somewhere, I can never find my size. And I haven't bought Converse's in so long, so I really don't know my actual size. You know what they say about small feet, right? What? What? I don't know. I was just wondering if you knew. I was going to say because I don't got a Peter, so. <laughs> All right, guys. So we also did grab some food at the food court. So right now we're about to head home, eat a meal up real quick. Then we'll get to the point of that last thing that we were hiding from you guys. So we'll see you guys then. Uh, okay. So you want to tell them how you proposed to me? Ooh. What? A lot I of you guys. to you. A lot of you guys have been asking about this ring right here. Saying, oh my God, did you guys notice the ring? I know I'm not the only one who saw the ring. The day they get married, they make a video on it. You want to tell them what happened? Nene wants to make a guest appearance. Do you want to tell them, Nene? <laughs> he, don't, he don't know what happened. So pretty much every year for Isaiah's I'm taking. <laughs> Gosh. Every year for Isaiah's birthday, he does not stop asking questions as to what gifts I am getting him. Okay? It's your fault because you always bring it up first. Yeah, because like I'm excited. I'm the type of person that like I had to learn to keep secrets for birthdays, but in reality, I just want to share everything. But I'm just going to take it back a little bit. Last year, I got Isaiah a ring from Gucci. And I got him a ring. His mom and I were going back and forth with sizes. And she told me she thought it was one size. I knew that his fingers are too big for... It was like a size 7 and a half or 8. Long story short, it ended up fitting him way too small. What was the 7 and a half or 8? Your, the Gucci ring. No, that was an 8. Yeah, it was an 8. Who are you growling at? Leave the gardener alone. Thank you. Turns out it was way too small on him. He couldn't even fit it on his pinky if he tried. So we had to return it and it was like this whole big ordeal. He ended up not being able to get a ring that year. So I just decided this year, let's give him a little taste of his birthday. 
and let's give him a black ring it looked exactly the same as that one I personally feel like this one is more sleek and versatile for a fraction of the price yeah for a fraction of the price so he ended up picking something with the money that I spent on the ring like you bought a whole bunch of things with the one item I don't remember that was last year I don't even remember what I did yesterday yeah well I got him that and trust me I'll be surprising him with some stuff for his actual birthday that you guys will see. You see how she intensifies the <laughs> other gift? Like it's this big thing and I keep trying to guess and she tells me if you find it in the house, I'll let you have it or whatever the case is. I started searching the house just to find out that it's at my mom's house. And, but she had me searching for like a good half hour. No, cause he was just like, is it here? I'm like, I don't know, is it? He's like, is it at my mom's? I don't know. So basically the story with the ring is she got it she gave it to me for my birthday now as to why i'm wearing it on this hand and on this finger it is because i am simply matching her energy the ring that i gave her years back she has it on i used to have it on this finger i don't wear it on that where finger. is your ring i have it right here why is it not on the other finger because i switch it when i fidget my hands i switch it from this one and it got stuck so i did switch it back <laughs> But I'm only switching it all the time. You can't fit it on that thing. It's going to stay on this one. I don't care if it don't fit on this finger. It's going to stay on this one now because I was matching the energy, putting it on this one the whole time, making it look like we were married. Now, it's going to be on this one. I don't care if it's, it cuts off the circulation on this finger either. Well, how about I move that over here because I'm waiting for the real one. Don't. You're going to get that. Yeah. All right? But I'm not going to tell you Like right. I said, I'm waiting. Put pressure on him. Put they pressure do enough, on him. They do enough of that. They always ask me when I'm going to do that. Don't worry about it. I'll get to it. It's on my to-do list. All right? Anyway, that is the story behind the ring. That is another thing we've been hiding from you guys. You guys noticed it a bunch of times, and I feel like we just had to tell you guys because no, yeah. we didn't get married, but we might as well be married at this point. No. You need to make it official. I will. Okay. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Well, with all that being said, guys, that is the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's vlog, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below what you guys thought. It is time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Tyrese Azor. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for your love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys got to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn your post notification bells on so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And with all that being said, guys, we'll, catch we'll you see you in the next one. video. I'm working on it. <laughs>